Hello friends, 20th October is observed as World Osteoporosis Day and on this occasion Kalas Hospital Noida is taking this social responsibility to create awareness about prevention, diagnosis and treatment of osteoporosis. In osteoporosis, bone mass is abnormally reduced, meaning the total quantity of bone in the body is reduced but the quality of bone remains normal. Because of reduction in the bone mass, the strength of bones get reduced. As a result, the fractures can happen even with minor trauma. Osteoporosis is a disease of elderly people happening after the age of 50 years and females are affected more than males. In India, nearly 20% of females above the age of 50 years are suffering from osteoporosis. It is interesting to know what happens in bones during the lifetime. Bone removal and bone formation keeps happening throughout the life, which is a normal natural phenomena called bone remodeling. During adolescent life, bone formation is bone more than bone removal. As a result, maximum bone mass or peak bone mass is achieved by the age of fourth decade. But after fourth decade, bone removal is more than bone formation. As a result, by the old age, one develops osteoporosis. Besides advancing age, other reasons for osteoporosis are like sedentary lifestyle, poor intake of calcium, poor exposure to sunlight, consumption of steroids, alcohol, smoking, caffeine and few disease conditions also lead to osteoporosis. How can we prevent osteoporosis? This by reducing the natural course of bone loss and by achieving a high peak bone mass in early life. And all this is possi possible by three basic facts. One, regular exercises. Number two, optimal intake of calcium. And third, vitamin D from sunlight exposure. Recommended exercises are weight-bearing exercises like hiking, jogging, stair climbing, playing tennis, sit-ups, push-ups, dancing, etc. For calcium, rich sources are milk, cheese, yogurt, bhindi, palak. Our daily requirement of calcium ranges between 1000 mg to 1300 mg. The upper range of requirement is for early life, old age, menopause and pregnancy. Vitamin D rich food are oily fish, egg yolk and liver and they are all non-vegetarian foods. But for all, the most important source of vitamin D is sunlight exposure. Sun rays have ultraviolet B rays which are maximum during the midday and in summers. And these rays convert cholesterol present in skin cells into vitamin D. Our daily requirement of vitamin D is nearly 600 international units. Exposing your one third of body skin to midday summer rays, sun rays during summers for 10 to 15 minutes thrice in a week, week is sufficient for our need. Exposing yourself through a glass window is of no use. While exposing to sun rays, protect your eyes from sun rays by putting on glasses. To diagnose osteoporosis, DEXA scan is the gold standard which is a reliable and accurate method and it uses only a small dose of radiation. For treatment of osteoporosis, take advice of your doctor which is basically based on vitamin D and calcium supplements, regular exercises and bisphosphonates. Excess of calcium and vitamin D can be harmful to your body. Lastly, 
a high peak bone mass in early life is like having a good both bank balance for future life like athletes have so you can maintain a good bone health by regular exercises optimal intake of calcium and optimal exposure to sunlight stay healthy namaskar subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update